Hey folks, Jiminy Critic here. Well, you know, before I start my review, I want to give a phrase to you that I think most of you watching this are going to remember. Let me throw this at you here. Greed is good. Remember hearing that? Look, let it go through it. Greed is good. Yeah, you're thinking back, where did I hear that? Well, you heard it back in 1987. Those of you that were around in 1987, old enough to be watching a movie. You heard Michael Douglas play the infamous insider trading Gordon Gecko giving a speech to enthralled audiences, and that was his phrase that caught the end of the 80s and kind of the 80s and <laughs> 90s here in America. Actually, it's probably a phrase that still fits even today if you look at some of the things that go on in Washington and in Wall Street and all the things that have been happening the last decade or two. Anyway, I'm here today to talk to you about kind of the sequel, the follow-up movie done, what, 23 years later, called Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps. Again, directed by Oliver Stone. Very good director most times, controversial director. Most times his movies come out and people are thinking, picking apart his movie for him being really left-wing with some ideas or, you know, way over here on the side. Uh, he just brings back some familiar pieces and characters to this particular movie. I like the movie okay. couple things. It's kind of a little bit long for me, and it just doesn't have that same, for me, the second movie, Money Never Sleeps, that same snap and crackle. Uh, that the first movie in 1987 had. Let me explain what's going on here. Basically, of course, Michael Douglas comes back. He'd been in prison for years because of an insider, as Gordon Gecko for his insider trading. The movie begins with him the day he's released from prison with all of his few worldly goods that he had going in. And uh, even a little funny thing is a limo kind of pulls up as he's getting out, and as he almost steps to assume the limo was for him, some rapper guy that just got out of prison, yeah, man, and gets in there and it takes him away, and there stands Gordon Gecko, used to be one of the richest, powerful men in America, with nothing but a bag in his hand of his worldly possessions and a car that didn't even come to pick him up. There we go. Now, introduced into this particular movie and remake, Shia LaBeouf, who is a now a Wall Street energy guy, uh, you know, financial advisor, and Carrie Mulligan playing Gordon Gecko's daughter. So you got that triangle in this movie. I want to say this much. The movie doesn't focus so much in this time on Gordon Gecko, Michael Douglas. Now, he's important to the flick, but it's not really about him. This movie is kind of putting Shia LaBeouf's character up front and center stage. See, he wants to marry Gordon Gecko's daughter. Gordon just gets out of prison, has been estranged from his daughter for years, and then we got this triangle going of are they helping each other or hurting each other in this scenario. I'm not going to give you all the details of where this movie finally ends, but suffice it to say it was interesting, well shot, the movie looks good, again, just a little bit long, and just doesn't have that sizzle of the first one, but a fine performance by Douglas. Shia LaBeouf kind of shines as this hard-nosed financial advisor, and Carrie Mulligan as the hurt daughter will come through and pull at your heartstrings. So I recommend you get out there and check out Wall Street. Money never sleeps. Catch you next time. This is Jiminy Critic. That's right, money doesn't sleep.